Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome here to Oz Fortress Season 18 Grand Final in the Open Division. Tonight we have Whoopi Share versus Blackbird Sixes for the Grand Final of the Season in Open. I'm joined by Hipfire. Say hi. Hello. And on analysis we have the wonderful Sage. Hello. So tonight... Uh, going for maps, we've got Whippy Share picking Gully, uh, Blackbird picking Granary, and Whippy Share picking Process uh, being the higher seed for this one. Uh, how, what are your thoughts coming into this? It's an open match, so uh, you know anything can really happen. You can't really put maps to either team because it's so volatile. But yeah, what are your thoughts coming into this match, Gramps? Um, it's very. It's. I think it's going to be a good matchup. I checked the um, the brackets previous to how they've been performing, and they both seem pretty strong in this division. The players I do recognise are a Plotiopsis, who's actually a really competent medic, and I'm actually surprised to see him playing in open. I believe he's played Prem before as medic, if I'm correct. Uh, Apples as well, who's a very competent scout playing from Asia. Uh, it will be interesting to see if he can pull it in, because I've, I've seen him play in Asia as well, and he's also very strong, but raised as an issue. Ah, uh, um, yeah. That being said, the rest of the players are pretty much wild cards to me, so I'll be interested to see what happens. All right, so speaking of rosters, Hipfire, do you want to walk us through uh, Whoopi Share's roster? All right, well, on the Whoopi Share roster, we have Eels and Zy Life on Scout, Welrus on Roamer, BB on Pocket Soldier, Laz on Demo, and Apod on Medic. So, Gramps, you did Say that uh, you recognised Apod uh, playing medic for Whippy Share. Uh, do you think the rest of the team's going to be able to match up to his experience? Um, I, I've like I said, I'm not super familiar with the roster. Laz, I think I've seen him pugs before, and he, from memory, is pretty decent DM. But I'd say experience-wise, I don't think any of them actually hold a candle to Apody. All right, and just to finish it off. Uh, uh, just on the side of Blackbird Sixes, we've got Optivex and Apples playing scouts. Uh, Apples, as uh, Gramp said, a very, very strong scout. So it's be exciting to see how he goes. Uh, on Roma, we have Neo. Pocket, we have Delphinoid. Demo Man, we have Kingstar. And Medic is Noble H, another experienced player. So Who just a very exciting sub, match ahead. Oh, he's a sub? No, I think he just timed out or something. Ooh. Oh no, I think he's fixing like PRAC or something. Who knows? That's what I think is happening. Alright, so we do have 12 on the server, 6 to either side, so we should be starting the first map of the finals very soon. Looking forward to some great TF2 tonight. Uh, it's, I would have said that it's uh, we're probably in for stalemates, but like you said as well, it's volatile because it's a uh, lower division. It's usually a lot faster. That's a good thing about watching... Uh, the lower divisions is it's not usually this huge stale mate like it is pushed into high divisions it's far more back and forth generally i'm getting invited to a highlander pug so i'm gonna go offline steam highlander player sma <laughs> <laughs> pretty much we're here for sixes gramps don't yeah. even say that in front of us <laughs> all right if you bully but me i hard like enough, i like what you said pub. about open it's a lot more uh, volatile, a lot less formulaic than you'd see in Prem. Like you'd expect things to happen, and they they just they just don't happen. Even though this is Grand Final, it's the best of Open. It's it's still Open. Yeah, it can happen. Things can happen, and I don't want to underestimate the skill of the players either, because everyone has to start somewhere. And I do think that obviously winning opens the first step to getting into high divisions. But we do have ready up from one of the teams, and twelve are in, so I think we should be seeing it starting soon. If we're lucky. We just had Yaunt telling them to get ready to go. So, moment now. We'll be ready to go. Uh, if you are looking forward to seeing some competitive tier 2 Australian gameplay, make sure to follow us here on Twitch and Twitter to get all the updates on coverage of Oz Fortress 18. Just got on word that we are live and ready to go. So, should be jumping into this very, very shortly. That's cool. Predictions? Who's gonna win? Uh, as that. BB7. Well, I gotta, I gotta go for my boy apples and say, yeah, Blackbird are gonna win this. I'd say it's gonna be close though. That's my prediction. All right. Well, I'm gonna go for the other side. 
I'm going to go for Whoopi Shear. Uh, they were much more dominant uh, in the regular season than uh, Blackbird was, but we'll just have to see how they go. They got a lot of 5-0 wins. They got beaten. Like, sure, everyone gets beaten, but when they did get beaten, they put up a good fight most of the time. So really, really uh, curious to see how they go, see if they can continue the dominance that we've seen uh, throughout the entire season from them. You got to root for the my uh, justification for my, BB or my Blackbird 6's prediction. So the reason why I think they're going to win is because they have Neo on Roaming Soldier, which is the name of a, prem, a French Prem Scout in ETF-12. So <laughs> oh. clearly, clearly, the, the name Neo means that you're amazing at video games. So I thought you were going Neo's for a gonna pound. stroke. Neo can't oh, kill. Nah, 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 that, that's can't too easy. That's too easy. <laughs> it's in-depth in depth predictions you're receiving from us here at TF Live. So... Game is starting, so hit fire, take me to mid. Alright, well, I'm gonna go and look at Neo, the one that I'm predicting to pound this match. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's rolling out to mid. We are now on his arrive. He's jumping in very aggressively onto the, um, the opposite team's mid. Everyone actually bombing, and Neo gets the first kill onto Xylife. Trying to deal with this soldier. He sees the medic trying to get out of choke, trying to get some spam. He gets his pocket. The medic gets out. He's going to go for the chase. And there's only one soldier left for um, the other teams, I guess. In mid -point here. He's just, and now he's gone. And Neo also successfully chasing the medic. And that's a full wipe for whoopsie share. That was a very messy mid to watch. Everyone was all over the place. Noble H nearly survived, but he didn't expect BB to be there at all and just got taken down by a singular rocket after being so weak from that mid fight. So we do see the side of Blackbird moving on to second point now. A little bit of a contesting from the other team playing up top, but I think it's pretty clear that Blackbird have got this point absolutely secured. Just going to move back onto last now, get ready for this final defense as Blackbird's just going to get ready to perform their attack as they are deciding to move up through River. Uh, as Ubers are even right now, so anything could happen. They do have to deal with a Sentry and a Heavy, so hopefully they'll be able to realize that obstacle is, is there before they move in. And just just more building, more, yeah. more time wasting as everyone's just trying to get themselves ready to go. Got the uber build coming in from uh, Blackbird and probably not going to have that much of an impact as both teams reaching their uber now. Blackbird hopefully going to be going in for a push any moment now through river as both teams. Yes, here it comes now. We have Pinkster actually playing solo from lobby as the ubers popped onto both the soldiers instantly going straight into the combo. Does good work, but that sentry is still up, but what? no one was standing on the point. What? No one was on the point. Just Apple well, looks straight that behind was them. a disaster super from... Uh... Blackbird, but the ma majesty of running under the point saved it in the end. It's a very strange outcome, I was about to say. Anyway, let's hop on to this mid. Alright, next mid. Apples goes very aggressive onto the um, blue team's demo, but the rest of his team will be going to their own side of mid. The blue demo, our soldiers are jumping over the point, but actually, thanks to gets the soldier jumping over the point, a big bomb from Delphinoid goes onto the medic. Does take him out. No heals for the blue team. There's Xylife under the point, very weak. The demo and the scout heals and lads trying to hold this off. But I think they're gonna get forced out. Optivax goes in for a five. It actually Eels wins that 1v1. But there's Neo and Apples coming in, taking out lads. And now it's just Eels trying to do what he can, try to maybe get the medic, but he will get taken out as well. Overall, pretty clean mid from Blackbirds. Right there, they did play a bit messily, they probably should have just taken heals and then just crushed with buffs after that medic uh, pick and everyone was just scattered all over, but they're all pretty good and I think they've got a pause. I don't know, I'm timing out. No, that's a pause. Okay. All right, Absolute cool. pause. So, I'm assuming this is technical, I doubt it's tactical because it is open, but it could be happening right now. <laughs> I mean... Like, Blackbird's getting ready to defend last. It could be a straight talk. Come on, guys. Like, I mean, Bird. I'll give them the uh, benefit of the doubt. As they do have the engineer set up, they're looking to set this on, on last. The engineer is not setting up in the same position. I think uh, he learnt that it didn't, after it didn't watch the point, maybe he's trying to try and move it somewhere else or something. But uh, well, I don't. I, this should probably just, after this pause fades, probably just be a push in from Blackbird with this full advantage. 
It'll be quite hard. But I do actually notice a Apotheopsis is up on the vaccinator, which might slow this down a bit because uh, he's employing gimmick weapons. I'll say it. It's not a gimmick. It's it a is a gimmick. Legit, the it's a legitimate is, strategy. The vaccinator is the definition of gimmick. And uh, up on the heavy NG once again for uh, the side of... Uh, Whoopi share, and it is just another last hold as Blackbird are breaking into upper. Well, we'll have to see if it works this time. Didn't really do much the first time. Maybe Apples is gonna pull the same trick and walk straight onto the point. Hopefully, they've learned their lesson. But we'll have to wait and see. Is he holding quite passively on this last point as BB's push just coming in through now? Uber completely wasted on that first hold. He gets bounced all the way back up the balcony and they haven't gained a lot of ground. They take down the sentry, but it's just such a scrap right now. Two players down, three players now, and they've only got one pick in return. They're going to decide to get out through River here. That was a really, really disastrous first pop as that red soldier just got bounced all the way back up the balcony as soon as he tried to jump down. Gonna take down Noble H here as he's trying to get out. Delphinoid does get a nice air shot onto him, but he's gonna cap the second point. I do think that that was kind of a silly Uber for it coming out of Blackbird. They they must have known the sentry was there, and if they didn't, that was bad uh, checking before the Uber. If they they should have focused that Uber to start off from the demo, but the soldiers bombed into a sentry and just kind of got completely denied before they even got the sentry down, and it just completely destroyed their push afterwards. Everyone was scattered, and they just got cleaned up. As <laughs> Delphinoid gets cleaned up by spam, and that might. Oh, what the heck? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, there was a pause issue there, but they should be getting it in a second as people are coming in through choke. Laz leading on heels, and they're breaking this through. And they've been mid pre contested here. I do want to give a quick reason as to why that uh, timeout occurred for both game time. I'm being informed that it's two siblings on the same internet. Um, <laughs> really? That's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, very interesting combination there. Really shows maybe some good team synergy from the side of uh, Black Road. <laughs> Brotherly synergy coming out on Blackbird, but another stalemate coming out on this uh, choke side. See what team tries to break it first, or just see them looking at each other through a choke. I think that's just what's going to be happening right now. I mean, I mean, this is going wash stalemates are not an uncommon occurrence on this map, especially in oh, open wet. Delphinoid they... is going under through drop Ooh. down. He's through, but they expected as Les does drop down, but he's still on the medic. He gets separated and probably just get cleaned up. <laughs> he's getting bounced around like so everywhere. So and... way too long. Yeah, he did get cleaned yeah. up in the end, didn't get a lot done. So probably uh, start a push for a whoopee share or... Yeah, they're coming through the choke with the scuba. They pop it out and they are separated. This demo man doesn't get cleaned up. The Uber comes out on uh, Blackbird's side and another pause. Another pause. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I guess we've got another one. This is like probably the siblings timed out again. Maybe who knows? Maybe. Same issue as before. I'm being informed. Wow. Uh, really oh, not going on the way of yeah. Blackbird. For this that's right now. A bit awkward. I guess that's... I mean, it's a bit of a drawback, isn't it, when not only one, but two of your players internet, and when you lose one, you lose both, so yeah. maybe, not, like... maybe something you'd think of, uh, well, hindsight's twenty twenty, you know? Yeah, that's true. Uh, can we add now? Like, now. Like it. Oh, pause ended. So we are back, I guess it was just a short timeout there, as the internet was being fixed, and... Yeah. It is in so my Lisa, so we've got games going on right now. Just as like we're sick is having to move back towards their second point, they can't hold as aggressively on track oh, as they were. The man oh, goes down that on the side of Baby can't Six. Happen. This is just so awkward. Uh, upper the skags down as well. Baby Six do get a return frag, but it is completely in the side of Wookie. Because uh, I can't see on my hard know that they do have a revenge because the medic went down. So we'll see what the uh, BB6. Oh, Apity does come from the vaccinator. No, sorry, uh, Noble H comes from the vaccinator. So we'll see how they want to do this because the vaccinator is great for just slowing down these pushes, absolutely destroying and annoyingly uh, just wrecking Uber charge. So, but Hipfire, you did say that Vex 
Tornado was not a gimmick, it's a legitimate strategy. Do you still stand by that point? Well, it seems like they, uh, they switched off, so I don't think they have faith in it. I think it's a legitimate strategy, but they sure don't. I think that... Oh, another... <laughs> Oh, There's wow. another pause. <laughs> I'm really liking this position. They, the walrus just jumped. The Uber has been popped. The <laughs> apples is ready to deny walrus's jump, and they pause. Well, the heavy. This is so bad for the soldiers. The heavy is just gonna is in such a favorable position in this pause. His as much time as he wants to figure out like how he wants to float the soldier, but I think this is gonna destroy the Uber for the side of Wabija. To wait and see. Maybe they should have used the vaccinator. I don't know. They do have the full. Yeah, exactly. Because they went to the vaccinator and switched off. Which I think once you've committed to it, you have to commit. You can't just throw it away for like the thirty percent you're gonna get. I guess they thought they weren't gonna push or something. But very odd decision, especially because the heavy vaccinator combo is actually pretty friggin' strong. Are you guys liking the uh, never-ending minigun shooting sound? <laughs> it's my favorite. Make music to my ears. Just relaxing sounds for the stream. I Any second now, we'll be back. I promise you guys. I also noticed that they're all trying to push through this riverside. Um, so actually, uh, outside for the scout Zylife, who's going to look like to push through main. But funneling all these people with this Uber might cause a lot of flushing if they get the spam out. Plus, this heavy, I think, is going to be an issue for this uh, this soldier bombing in. As I'm pr I can almost guarantee he's been waiting to just destroy him since this pause came out. He's Hello. sitting there, you can tell he's on the other side of the computer screen, just ready to blast him, like, back through the balcony. He's so yeah. ready for it. This would be painful, and Neo's probably looking to hit that air shot as well. Yeah. It's a very, very awkward pause. It'll be in the Ubers too. Maybe that's the secret. This is the strategy. The two brothers pull out the internet cable, and then, well, <laughs> when, when it Uber decides, and then predict the team. This is the internet just they win. Slowly but surely, they'll get their internet back up. Uh, has anyone's predictions changed uh, as how, as to how this game's gone? I mean, Blackbird, they've won that first point, but they've been on their last point a few times now. Does it change your hope for the rest of this game at all? No. I have faith no, in No, Neo. you're still standing by Neo. You have faith in, yeah. you have faith in the Matrix. Y yes, sure, sure, Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I'm sure they'll be able to ancient Agent Smith this up and maybe maybe force out a bit of a win. That sounds about right. I'm starting to get a headache from the heavy. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> painful to watch. Yeah, yeah, I'm I just watching these I just players went really free, to yeah, I went to free cam and just left the map so I don't have to <laughs> listen to it. <laughs> Oh, that's a good point. We could probably S&D restart it, but it's, yeah, he has a lot of ammo in that thing. All right. I think, like, the worst part of, of this is that, sure, they can grab a, well, if it was a normal situation, they could grab a sub, but they'd need two subs <laughs> if their internet is down. And Maybe, maybe mum and dad could hop in. Don't you have to, like, get special permission to have more than one? sub or something like that i don't i think the rules with subs also in uh playoffs are a bit weird so i have oh no boy. idea how this is gonna work because if, if, if i correct me if i'm wrong but this is the third pause in less than 10 minutes yeah absolutely. and this is the longest one as well and it's probably at the best moment that it could have happened in the entire game and <laughs> that like we're about to maybe possibly get their first point even though it might completely go wrong which is likely to but they're about to get their first point they have them all the way back on last and then just as the uber is popped and they string all uh, right <sighs> i think this calls for a good time that we should write so people's loadouts because as much as i hate the heavy minigun noise i like apple's gangster loadout heavy i think the problem with that one is is i don't have hats turned on Dun dun. Oh. oh, Apples is the only one I can see with a festive weapon. Oh wait, no, we've got another one. We have Australians in the map as well. I don't know. I don't think I can pick. <laughs> it's also the last uh, pause that can come from the side of Blackbird. And I've been told that every single pause 
this has been them for the exact same issue all three times so we have to see how it goes they might have to play with just the four if uh the two brothers drop out again might be a bit of a bad situation for the playoffs for for like red sixes which will be disappointing of course but really do much about it apart from not have brothers on your team oh that we are on pause now though oh, here we go here we go well, wow, he didn't Nintendo get anything Nintendo. done. He just got taken down by Vivi almost immediately. Panks are getting nice uh, pipes onto the enemy soldiers there, but they're getting forced out through lobby anyway. They took down the heavy almost immediately, and other than that, they just got denied pretty much every way. As we do have uh, the two brothers timing out, and Vivi uh, Black Red Six is playing with four players. It's probably going to have to be what happens for the rest of this match unless they can periodically just rejoin. That's very unfortunate uh, for at least the first map. I, not much to really say if they have to play with four. You can kind of tell how the match is going to go. It'll be interesting to see what they can do with the four players, but a massive disadvantage. I, I can't see them coming back from this at all. Yeah, this is this is just ridiculous. Like I think they need a vaccinator. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just waiting on Uber with this last, like, not much you can do, you're pretty much going to permanently be at a disadvantage here. I don't see you getting that many player, that many team kills with four players, but we'll see what they can do as they are putting it this last. The Uber hasn't popped out yet, the pro it comes out for Blackbird as... They do have a better Uber in this situation, but like I said, the player disadvantage, I don't know if they'll make anything of it. As the soldier does get to the point, and he's supported by the demo and the combo, he gets cleaned up, but it's just the medic after the demo just stands back and kills the very little amount of team left on uh, Black Red 6's, but they do have players in now, if I'm correct. No, they don't, yeah, it's my hard freeze. Play. Okay, no. Okay, they're back. Alright, cool. Alright, now, we have a real <laughs> round on our hands. If we I resume. Take us, take us to the third <laughs> mid. Alright, now, the, both teams, yeah, have all their players on the server. Let's see what's going on. It seems like the, uh, the blue team, I'm just whoopee. Is going on the BB7 side of mid, and BB7 is actually not contesting this mid. They are just chilling on their second. It's willing to give them this mid. Not exactly sure what happened. I guess maybe just, yeah, yeah, maybe the yeah the role I just got messed up through the pause. So they're just gonna sit on second. No casualties on either side. Just a just a simple little second hold. But the push actually is coming in. They're going through lower here. Onto the second point of BB6 is going actually all the way into top. The combo just wrapping all the way around. Optivex is going to get caught here trying to do something, but he will not survive it. Actually, Noble drops to Laz. I don't know exactly what happened, but he dropped to him. A backup is coming in from BB6s, but they will not be able to uh, block the second cap from the Whoopsie team. They're going into last. The Uber has been forced, but I don't think the spawns, are, the spawns will come in in time for... Whoopsie to, I guess, or a BB6 to be able to stop it. That was a weird round. I think that uh, this might be the first round in a long time where everyone's in and we might actually see a mid fight. So, I guess we could just walk this through. Let's see what BB6 do, guys. They are there, turning up to mid this time. They've got all their players, and so let's see what's happening. So, what uh, the fights are coming in just now, both soldiers just bombing onto the point on the side of Blackbird. Only the one, he's jumped on the spy, but Lance is getting really aggressive and choked. He takes. He does a lot of damage and has his teammates help him clean it up. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of Blackbird are moving in through house now. Pingstar unfortunately caught out. Uh, Apod is left alone in elbow though. As the rest of his team is just picked off, and that's just well we're stuck all the way behind. He's gonna bomb, and now they didn't know he was there. Maybe he'd get a pick. They aren't reacting at all to the sound of rockets landing near them. But wow, he missed that second rocket on the Optivex. That was very unfortunate from him that he got nothing done with that. It was really odd. The, the mid, I was about to say, pretty much already gone on the side of Whoopi. They had all the positioning and all the players, but what happened was, I believe, Pengstar uh, just walked in and took fire from everybody as the rest of the team just backed him up, and the side of Whoopi just pretty much only shot him and just got destroyed by the players behind him. So as we're going to see a last call by Whoopi share. With the Vaccinator, if you can believe it. As the Uber does come in, but this is so early, and they just, I don't think they planned for this century and heavy. They do get the sentry down, but oh my god, this eels actually does go down and cast his curse, and this heavy is just destroying players left and right. It's a legitimate strategy. I guess I guess Hipfire was right. Never questioned him. 
work <laughs> out really yeah, don't well. Question, for me. Don't question <laughs> my analysis. The heavy just goes absolutely that was crazy. huge. Crazy. <laughs> okay, so that was. This is the problem with the uh, Blackbird they've made in like every last push I've seen is that they continuously push without actually checking for last, seeing what they have, what they have to go up against. It's the second or even third time that they've just jumped straight into the sentry gun, which has been up every time. They need to learn from their mistakes. They can't really adjust to any sort of uh, off classes. They seem to just walk in through river as opposed to actually just waiting and listening to what could possibly be in there. They've been surprised by the sentry. Uh, multiple times now and the heavy I mean they knew he was there but the strategy of dealing with them maybe not the most effective to see yeah. what happens on this one this is this is the important part this is a stalemate the gully wash this is where real men are made so last time it was broken by I believe the Roma for BB going in and trying to get a pick I think he failed and it did go into the side of Whoopi but they are actually breaking through choking the side of Whoopi and the medic is completely caught out and might get picked up. He does get picked up by BB. Yeah. And this is going the way of Whoopi Share, unless this Roma can go huge. And he doesn't. Apples this is still alive, but oh, I was hoping he could pull off something crazy. Yeah. And it's a complete wipe. This probably is going to be a last push for Whoopi. They do have a bit of an advantage. Uh, nothing amazing, but it is still an advantage as they are just going to be holding last. No fancy vaccinated or anything. Players are getting up, they didn't rush this, so be interesting to see. They are building. I think they're going to try and play this off this super out on last. As we do have the heavy actually coming out for BBE on apples again. Let's see if we can get more done this time. Hopefully we'll see it. We'll see that. I mean, <sighs> you can never really tell. Maybe, maybe a Whoopi will actually look into a point before they push it. It was just the strat from Whoopi last round was just this destructive, unkillable, vaccinated heavy. As they're breaking through river this time, uh, imitating BB and just getting absolutely just, uh, deep with these soldiers. They're rotating spawns and they've lost three on the side of Whoopi in this forced uber as they are almost definitely gonna, yeah, wipe. Just, it, they did their, yeah, like I said, they did their best BB impression and rushed through river, but they lost, I think, three players, just spam fights and it just ended up going in the way of Blackbird. I think they should have been a vaccinator in this summer. <laughs> <laughs> They're breaking through right. already. They do have this yeah. they didn't use on they didn't get it on last, so they just got it at so I life up on sniper actually, trying to get picks, but market gun. we have a market gun from <laughs> Welworth onto Neo. Wow. Bit of bit of B in there. Oh he was up the medic, noble edge How? kind of goes the wrong side of the point to dodge spam and gets cleaned up by a scout behind and that's really bad for the side of uh, Blackbird. It's an interesting little scrap of mid to say the least. We had a market gun and then a random mid pick out Blackbird, of nowhere. I'd just be to... just rushing them trying to get this at them at a second, trying to back this up before they can get the ground, but it's not gonna happen as they're just gonna play back with these heels and Whoopi is likely just gonna walk through. But they're trying to spam a choke that no one's in. Okay, they're breaking through now. Stick <laughs> it. Okay. <laughs> They're complicated I creatures, leave them alone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. They're jumping Here we go, here's the bomb from BB up into the spire. He's forced them all the way back through choke, and I finally Blackbird have realized that they need to start walking backwards on this yeah. mid fight. But White they wasted mate. so much time. Much they were time. so, like, they were actually really far in. I'm surprised none of them were cleaned up. As they're breaking through BDO with this Uber. Only 80% only, only coming up for Noble, but he might get it if he's sixty soldiers. He's getting spammed pretty heavy. He needs to get it. He's going to pop on this. Oh, he's keeping his Uber, but... He drops? What is this? Uh, what is happening? <laughs> Noble H... Oh uh, yeah, that was very confusing. I guess he wanted to save it after killing that scout and going back to fight, possibly, or they he just didn't, didn't realize he had Uber. Very well, and there we go. This is the round three-one uh, for Whoopi. That's a pretty big share. question mark. I like the fact that my prediction was right. I just want to mention that you guys both <laughs> went word. Well, I, I went with Whoopi share because yeah. the internet is betraying them. This isn't fair. <laughs> There's an asterisk next year prediction, I think. Oh, no, I think they've had enough time to come back with. I mean, they have all six players here for the mid 
fight. Good shots coming out from both yep. teams, dealing a lot of damage to aggressive players, and it's working out really well for the side of Blackbird. They have players jumping around behind them, though. Eels takes down Optivex on the flank. Meanwhile, Delphinoid trying to jump up on mid, nearly gets Market Garden by Wellworth. He's getting a little bit cheeky with them, but whatever yeah. works. Meanwhile, the combo, Lairs and Apod both going down just outside of their own choke. Is it's just Xylite oh, flicks at mid now and he gets so airshot by Delphine. Oh no, Blackbird has won to mid. Maybe they're gonna get another point. Maybe they're gonna win this map. They could, they could win or even tie this map. They the do prediction is in jeopardy, my well, friend. Well, we have a spy. We have a spy in the form of oh, Walrus sitting Warris, in lobby. Walrus might be having a bit of fun. He played pretty weirdly on that mid and went for a market guard and they got him killed. I think he's just trying to enjoy himself as he is on the spy, obviously. So we'll see if he can get anything done, but they're getting ready to push this river and he's they do have position. a century again. Surely they'll learn this time. Oh, he he's only at the worst one, time. So it's fine. So to get kicked out immediately, yeah. this is going so good for Blackbird as they wow. almost undoubtedly going to get this round. Wow. Yeah. Right. Oh man, that was the comeback! Really nice. <laughs> Not happening, I promise it. That was really nice, really nice from the side of Blackbird in that push. Lost no players. Forward of that spy who had the perfect position but just had the worst timing. Really unfortunate from him, but oh well, it happens. So we're just rolling out onto the next mid now. 3 2 going to play a whippy share. But Blackbird won the last round, so see if that carries on to this next mid. Optivex going down almost immediately to Laz's stickies. Meanwhile, uh, Walrus getting way too aggressive and getting taken down by Neo. BB and Laz get traded in return. Apod's alone on the midpoint. He's got Delphinoid chasing after him. His teammates aren't there to back him up. Xylife gets a kill, but Eels is stuck down below. Can't do anything to help his mid right now. Xylife just jumping around at mid. So <laughs> <laughs> just going for a ridiculous direct instead of aiming at the ground. and He does get cleaned up, but it was a bit light. Like, it does look like they're going to take the second. We might see a bomb in. As they actually are playing some players top with the medic, they're just trying to pressure the second a little bit. They've got four in river, so we will see this. But Laz goes down in lobby from a scout flank, and that might uh, get the push out here for BB6 as they're going river, their favorite push. No sentry, but a heavy to deal with as they get straight in. They uber early, but they don't get to the medic, and the uber is really bad for Blackbird right now. They're just getting out. But they look like the soldier's playing lower, which is probably not going to work with this heavy. Yeah, yeah he's just walk on slaughtered by no, the heavy. No, he spun around. Oh, yeah, that's it. It nearly happened again. It nearly happened again. <laughs> just walked straight onto the point. Tried it with two players this time, and it didn't work, so maybe they should stop trying that straight out. Is just... he just running back into mid now? Be, uh, yeah. Blackbird sorely defeated. Tails between their legs, running all the way back to mid, giving up seconds. Whoopi Share, of course, going to be making the use of that space, capping back their own second. Ready for a push into mid, another fight. Uh, both teams have been, uh, even Uber, around 70% at this point. So, we're coming into another another stalemate here on Gullywash. You wouldn't read about it. Gullywash stalemate? Question mark. This does, the Uber does come up for uh, Blackbird, but they're not going to use the ad. And... Oh, they are! Wow. I think they thought they had a much better ad than they actually did, and this is not looking good for Blackbird as two players go down already in the super, and a third is going to come up now. The medic does look like he's going to be able to get out, but this was really messy for Blackbird. I think they were counting on that ad being a lot better than it was, and didn't factor in the building from uh, Whoopi Share as Eels picks up Noble H on the back out. They really, really needed to hurry out of there instead of, like, waiting around. Just players, a lot of players jumping around. Quite, just a bit of a scrappy game in general. And you're seeing yeah, that it's just the open division, but very, very, very scrappy. It's to watch. Always fun to see some, some, something resembling DM in these scrappy sort of fights. This but very weird fight on last actually, but it is coming out as Laz gets two picks. Laz gets picked up himself. They're breaking through, they do have this uber ad, which is probably going to come out. I would say this is not looking very good for BB. As the super does pop out, they've got four up and it's just a scout medic, and it's going to go the way of Whoopi. Wow. Yep. That was a strange wow. looking push. It worked like a strange looking defense. Lairs worked really, really well. Uh, just getting those two picks as soon as you walk out through shutter. But not yeah. much that uh, BB... Uh, but Bro could do on that last defense there, they just connected. Yeah, so true. So it gets deep into the uh, demo straight away, but he gets 
push back. Neo getting pretty destroyed by spam. This is going the way of Whoopi. Medic goes down. It's just the scouts for Whoopi here, but a scout on 4 health could get cleaned up. Pretty low health on the side of uh, uh, Whoopi. If any picks could come out here, it would be helpful for Blackbird, but. Oh, do I split up by a shotgun soldier? I just realized that Bibi was watching the. running the shotgun. He's just finding below, it took so well. Actually, well worth chase all back to spawn. Maybe he trapped out a little bit here. Yeah. He must have tried to chase the mid and got completely caught out there. That was quite yeah. unfortunate from him, so now Whippy Share have lost that player that they could have used to take that second. Now we're back back to the, the stalemate again. 30% Uber on both sides. So it's just going to be fighting it with each other, trying to find that right opportunity to go and get a push get on through. Good spam. Actually, there's not much of a defense on the big door from the side of Whippy Share. They're just kind of watching it rather than pushing yeah. it. Optivex and Neo have full can easily overwhelm uh, Zy life. If I was on the side of Blackbird right now, I'd be built. I would have built up this Uber and get it up a bit more, and then push the choker immediately. They don't have the time to be wasting to at least even like uh, uh, tie this round or this map. Uh, they need to be using every minute. There, two rounds down with seven minutes left, and it is easily in the favor of Whoopi as they don't have any reason to push, which I think they've noticed. Yet again, we're just watching, watching and waiting for something to happen. We've got good defensive positions from the side of Black on this. Pretty standard, but they're doing it well and it's working out for them. Uh, neither player's taking too much damage for the push in, but the Uber is popped from Blackbird. Wow, they milked that for so long. Whippy, uh, yeah. Whippy Shear definitely going to have the better Uber out of this fight. But the second the flank didn't deny them entrance. Like the, wow, that was straight through Big Door. They just walked straight through Big Door. Got straight onto them and it worked out really well because now Whippy Shear a massive advantage walking into that second, but that that uh, flank push was really good from the side of Blackbird, I, completely nullified any advantage they had. That really was actually a really play. good push. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but that was really nice. They completely devoted the attention of Whoopi Shell with that scatter uber, which I thought was a really bad idea, and then just forced the choke and killed the players who weren't in the uber. And it worked out really well. I didn't expect that play. That was actually a really nice push overall. And they do have this pretty much full uber. They're building it up, trying to make sure it doesn't get close this time, but they're going to push River again. They don't have energy this time, but again, they do have the heavy on the side of Whoopi Sher. And it is not, <laughs> as we've seen, it's not, uh, these off classes are not the best friend of Blackbird's pushes. They do come, Here the does come out, he jumps out, gets straight into the combo, both soldiers in. The heavy goes down immediately, but they do get the Uber on Whoopi. They're just going to try and cap this up, but Uber on the point is, is going to make it very difficult. To have such a fight going on here, good player on both sides. But as I say, that Neo goes down, does apples. Laz gets picked up, but it's just Optivex left in against the Soldier Scout and a Medic. Not a lot of hope for him. Not a lot of hope for him. That was nearly a successful push from Blackbird. All the way from mid, mind you. That was a excellent play from them. Got them all the way to last, but now pull all the way back to second. See if they can contest this. Is actually Whippy Share not quite being fast enough to capture that second to capitalize on that. Now, there's yeah. a little bit of a fight going on. This could kind of go either way, but it looks like uh, Whoopi Shear aren't going to be the victors in this situation as they're getting pushed back into lobby. If they can get that spam onto the door, which they can't in time, uh, they just managed to push them all the way back into lobby. It has Xylife. Wow. Okay, Xylife picks up Pings to just walking onto second and then walks straight <laughs> back into lobby. He was hiding in the corner on second and no one did anything about it. <laughs> Got out through lobby anyway. That was that was something to Optimax be something to be held. Trying to jump on Laz, not hitting his shots, gets piped and giving the player advantage to Whoopi. And they this Uber does come out in upper. BB are just completely all over the place. They come the Uber is going to be fading. No, no trying to get out of choke, but it's not going to happen. As this is just falling apart for Blackbird. They're so disconnected right now. They're two players anywhere near second while the yeah, Uber was being popped off up top. That's not something that should happen uh, in any case whatsoever. I mean, Noble, he started off like he was trying to fight that. Of course, he tried to get out in the end of that Uber, but maybe not just being fast enough. Uh, he's got pulled up by a uh, whoopee share there. Quite unfortunate from him. Maybe not the right call as 
a bit of a fight happening on second right now that probably shouldn't be happening from the side of Black Crow, but it's working anyway because they managed to get that height advantage and then the spam just came and dealt so much damage and the scouts being able to clean up just the amount players. of damage. Why is this, it, this wow. working? <laughs> this is... I can't that believe that worked. That, that's I'm nothing speaking. that should happen at all, whatsoever. That is That makes no sense in the form of competitive TF2 whatsoever. That didn't just, happen to any team ever. It just flipped around. They played the hide and just spammed them out. The scout who just was rushing players didn't get cleaned up. I just don't have any words. They could easily get this round, but with two minutes left, they really have to hurry up if they want a chance, which they're not doing. They're just missing around in second. They lose their demo, which is also bad luck, but they still just need to push. They, have a, they do have even players, and but off classes are out for the side of Whoopi, so... But they're looking just to hold this and delay, and they need to get in straight away. I don't know if they've noticed that. Because they're just trying to spam out the sentry. They're probably gonna get this and just push. That's the best thing they can probably do. That's right, they're getting in on apples, the super's coming out, he's just, he's, try he's not shooting a target, he tries to shoot the vaccinated medic. He should just jump on the heavy, which he does, but he's on one health, the heavy doesn't get cleaned up, and gets crossbowed. The medic is very low on the side of... Both teams actually, and the heavy's just gonna clean up once again. Alright. The Blackbird's pushes are just not working. Hipfire, tell me, what's going wrong on these last pushes? They just don't work for them. Well, I, it seems <laughs> like, um, no. <laughs> like, one of the good ways to play around vaccinators to try and bait out the bubbles and trying to make them use all, yeah, all their vaccinator charges before you really pop off the uber because what they're doing now is they push in and then focus the vaccinator patient that they're unable to kill with the uber uber fades they still have vaccinator bubbles and then they're screwed and what they should do is they should either yeah go and bait those vaccinator bubbles or at least they should try and focus the people that aren't being vaccinated like the heavy that was on point that should have died or all the people that are, you know, on basically the flank on the left side of mid, but, or of the, the last point, but oh, they didn't do either of that, they just off. Ubered onto the facts and they put patient and got owned. Yeah. Just on our way to dead time at this yeah. point. 40 seconds one. left and 40 seconds left, Blackbird have to make up two points to make it even a tie. I I'm yeah, gonna say possible. first map, uh, Whoopi Shares pick going the way of Shares themselves, so clearly a smart pick by them. I think it is worth noting that Blackbird they got two points while yep. having massive internet troubles on a map that wasn't their pick. Down two players, not just one, two players, uh, yeah. for a good chunk of the start, and even then, those two players, 110 ping each. It's I'm actually impressed as uh, one of the they might get this round, as they're rushing through with the uber ad. They got the heavy and the soldier near going down. This meta gets picked up. This is really bad health for BB, but they could still pick this up if they get the point. Nah. Hey. That's last round five Here we are. Oh no, they didn't get the point. Yeah, they timed out. Rip. So it's 4-2, mm. whoops, side of whoopee. Uh, them pick. Mm, pretty decent game, I'd say. Uh, in terms of closeness, I mean. Like, it wasn't a stomp either side. My teams did uh, get their even five last, and overall, pretty close teams. So, we'll endeavor to bring you the logs uh, as soon as possible. Next map is going to be Granary Blackbird's pick. So, we'll see how they go on the second map. Um, they will probably most likely still have the issues with the uh, lagging players, so... Got a little bit of advantage, but that's such a massive disadvantage at the same time that it might not have as big of an impact as it normally would with a team's uh, own map pick. Uh, judging off how that gully wash uh, match went, what are you going on to Granary from both teams, uh, Hipfire? I hope that um, that BB Sixes tries to um, I don't know, play a little bit more organized, have some better focus calls maybe, because at times they seem to just yeah, not be playing together, and um, especially on those last pushes, like they just, they didn't focus the people that they had to focus, they just kind of had the uber players, you know, go one side and then have the, just everyone bas it basically just devolves into a DM fight, like that one um, time on second where they like came, they were sitting on top on their second and then apples drops down and just DMs everyone to death, like they seem to have the DM but they just don't have the team play, I guess, to capitalize on it. So, 
Uh, Gramps, walk me through. Give me give me quick highlights of uh, what's happening in the log tier. Uh, logs what's, wise, what stands out? Lo well, the first thing I noticed was the demo man top fragging, which was pretty interesting. Laz is doing a pretty large amount of work for the side of Whoopi Uh Gets damage at damage by his pocket, but looking at the heal ratio, he's getting very little, very like lower than scout heals. So he's doing very well for his lack of heals, getting quite a lot of damage out. Just kind of clump destroying the side of uh, Blackbird. That one thing I've noticed with Blackbird is they are uh, always much just staying in a group, and it's letting Laz to just walk forward and get a lot of damage out. Uh, the scouts for. Blackbird are easily the strongest. Apple's getting going 27 for 14, doing a lot of work. Just uh, easily, uh, I'd say, the best player on the side of Blackbird. And I don't know. I think that with... I think that this is a pretty awkward map pick, in my opinion, for uh, Blackbird. Because, like I said, I think the scouts are probably the strongest thing, and Granary is not a scout map. So I'm interested to see what they do on this map, but overall, yeah, I'd say that the players who had the most impact were Laz, Apples, and uh, Xylife actually doing pretty well himself, too. Right, we'll just run through the medic stats quickly. We've got Apod on 12,713 heals, 415 per minute, and Noble H, this is one thing that I noticed, nearly... Well, not nearly, but close to a hundred, uh, nearly less than a hundred, a hundred less, my bad, from Apod, uh, heals per minute than Apod. Man, that was a, just to get out. Um, only 13 Ubers, whereas, uh, Apod had 15 and two drops. A little bit of a performance difference, uh, from the side of Noble H on Black. You can't, this is, uh, although I do think, I'll be honest, I do think the medic underperformance is pretty obvious. There were a lot of weird decisions, especially, I don't know if it was caught on camera, the weird medic drop that he made against the scout uh, on middle after they lost the fighting choke. But you can't hold it against him that much. Apti has almost probably 20 times more experience than him. And it does show that Apti does have pretty good decision making. He's getting out most of the time, and he's doing pretty well overall. Uh, he also, like I said, like these vaccinated things, is that they're using the vaccinator pretty efficiently. They're absolutely, they absolutely destroyed with the vaccinator heavy, and Blackbird just weren't adapting to uh, these last bushes where they were running vaccinator, engineer, whatever. It's just they kept trying the same thing, trying to beat their head against the wall until it broke, and it just wasn't breaking. But I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I, I want your I want your final thoughts uh, on the use of the vaccinator in that last map. Do you approve or do you not? I uh, well, I I like I approve of the of the vaccinator. I think uh, it was used well. It was used quite well, but I think that the reason why it worked most of the time was more because the team pushing into it was kind of playing around it wrong. But yeah, I do. Uh, I do like vaccinator, so I approve. <laughs> right, so we're just just about ready. Here we are. I think we're coming into the first mid here on the second map. Maybe not. They changed their mind. Ah, we got map. baited. Already up. I did get baited. Absolutely. Well, it seems like they just need to record some demos, so we'll be starting yeah. soon. All right. There we go. Here we go. Hipfire, take me to this first mid, please. Alright, this is the first mid of the second map. First map went to the Whoopies. Well, I forget what the name exactly is, but they won 5-2. BB6s will have to win this to keep themselves in this Open Grand Finals. We are finally, finally made it to mid in this very long map. Pinksta and Laz are exchanging spam. Laz actually dropping very low. The scouts of BB6s get the high ground. Zylev does get Pinksta though. Two soldiers jump oh, bombing in, but neither of them really getting a lot done. And basically everyone on BB6s is now down. They're just trying to get some cleanup kills. Maybe get the med. Elipod does go down. The medic on the side of BB6s will also get chased and will go down as well. But the mid will still go towards the red team. Yeah, that was interesting at the start. Uh, I'd say Pinksta pretty much 
almost 100% won the fight with Laz, but I guess he didn't have the support from his team as he just got cleaned up and Laz ended up getting across from him and just walking through the rest of the med, fine. Which is a shame because he pretty much, I believe Laz went down to about 9 health and was pretty much just separated and no one got the final kill on him. They're trying to do a little bit of a hold on second, they're building this up and they are making it even, but... It looks like the soldier's gonna go down in the flank, and it is a trade. Oh, they trade two players for one, and that's gonna probably get the push up for Whoopi as they are trying to pick this corner, just wary of the spam. And they're just, yeah, edging just this fight Just they're fighting each other, players are dropping everywhere. They're just throwing just players. Pinkster and Optivist is dropping for no reason. Yeah. As we have, I like taking on three players at last. The team's gonna catch up to him now. The Ubers pop from both sides. They're trying to win this last, both sides, but it's just such an awkward fight. I mean, they lost a scout just before they started their push and it gave them a massive disadvantage, but it just walks onto the point because no one was standing on it. Yeah. For it. It's, it, it's like, they just, no one was standing on the point. They had four players around it, but no one actually on it. And Laz, he noticed and he just walked onto the point. Pain train out. Nailed it. Nailed it, dude. Alright, I'm gonna watch uh, Laz on this bit. Is he going catwalk? He's just sticking up the pack, sending stuff, gets a decent amount of damage onto Banks though, he picks up the pack on 100. They're just gonna take heals and if that's gonna resume. Uh, both mirroring each other a little bit. So I like going down to a soldier on height and it is just a bit of a run around here. A soldier bombs on the side of Whoopi, getting onto the pack, doesn't get much done. Another soldier gets in and kills the scout. Apples and it is just going the way it will be. They're just gonna claim getting these kills. Optivex is caught in as well, I think. But he's on the medic. He's not probably not. Yeah, he's not gonna get pick. Medic does go down low, but nothing comes of it. And this is likely just gonna be a last with this full Brad. We might see a sniper play. Yeah, yeah, is Apples comes up sniper, and that's probably the main hope here, unless a Roma goes huge and gets the med force. But if I were the side of Whoopi, I would be expecting a sniper in this situation. Like Hopefully, I love seeing zone. some sniper players. Far right coming in, the Uber's early, they know the sniper's there. The medic's not gonna get the super charge. Uber charge in time, and it's a bit awkward. <laughs> I think what there happened is one there, because they caught apples with the force of nature. I think what happened was he did a quick switch bind to the, a wrong slot or something, and he had a force of nature equipped and just <laughs> didn't know what to do. Yeah, his loadout kind of broke. It's the, it's the best weapon in the game. Yeah. Hey, Shaka used it, in, it you know? Shaka <laughs> used it in Prem, clearly That's it means true. that it's a good weapon. Exactly. Yeah. The vaccinator. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, well, well let's, go, let's go look at this mid. So soldiers from both teams are trying to establish high ground. The whoopsie, they're doing a better job of it. The soldiers are actually jumping in from the side of BB6s, neither really getting many kills. Thanks, it does get a pod with a sticky. But the rest of the team is getting cleaned up by the bombs and the scouts of Whoopsie. It's just apples left on mid, trying to maybe clean up some of these weak players on Whoopsie, but doesn't really seem to be able to get much space. He's still here. He's not really getting taken out. Is this taking really long? Apples takes a shot to the face, gets another one, and then BB finally gets around through the back and will take him out. I think it was a bit too ballsy on the side of Apples. He probably I didn't think they were super aware of where he was. They would have tried to take the tried to take uh, tried to have taken the opportunity to get out rather than take a fight with three players, but I don't think he knew what he got himself into when he got cleaned up. Because it's gonna look like a second hold here with a small Uber disadvantage on the side of Blackbird. Uh and Optivex and uh, not Optivex. Uh Apity building this is making this far far from a small ad as it's coming up to 100% and they are barely breaking 60. Which I think they know because they're about to use this. Uber comes out, they're getting in straight onto the soldier. The, the after effects of these buildings still leaving this guy a bit hurt as <laughs> this guy's just jumping the demo map with the Boston Basher. Surely this guy gets cleaned up this aggressively. Eels gets out because I think Apple's uh, missed quite a few shots in there. Demo gets cleaned up on the side of Whoopi as Medic and Scout are just trying to destroy on the left and it's just two on the side for Blackbird. This is just desperately trying to delay for players. Come on, he finished no. the cap. Take him out of the misery. Here we are. Yeah. Zero to three. Go on the side of uh, Shear on Blackbird's map pick. 
Yeah, this is not looking good. Like I said, I feel like you should have chosen maps where your scouts could flourish and it's granary. It's a very soldier and demo dominated map. A lot of... Uh, it's just a bit messy on the side of Blackbird. As we'll see what they do in this mid. Uh, Pangster not getting any damage to Laz. As Laz is just walking forward into the demo. And gets, clean gets him cleaned up as... He does go down himself, so they do trade, but Noble H is getting rushed by the flank, not being able to do anything, gets killed. Uh, likely just to play heals, but the medic gets killed on the side of... Uh... Oh no, sorry, I think I was wrong, I think Apity died and I miscommed it. Anyway, most, most meds get, get cleaned up anyway. Uh, scouts up, and it's just a demo versus two scouts, who is a spawner. The mid actually does go out for the side of Whoopi yet again, and they're probably just going to reset this. <laughs> Curious little observation I've made over the times that I've cast a greenery at lower levels. The medics just always die, and you don't see it even nearly as much as you see it at the higher levels. Every time, you just get forced into a corner and just... As a, as a medic, greenery mid is pretty scary. Like, the soldier dominance of jumping is very scary. And I'd say, like I said, if uh, you don't have the scout dominance, and you have to be a very you have to be a very coordinated strong team to be able to deny the pretty much freedom soldiers have on granary mid to just get wherever they want and destroy so i think that's what would be the connection there with why medics have a low, uh, low level medics have so much trouble in granary is the it's so hard to deny soldiers so the more dominant team is just going to be able to wreck you on mid so got a bit of a stalemate running around right now. Both teams have Uber, so they're clearly going to be waiting for the right opportunity. Bit of a standard defense for the second point here coming from the side of Blackbird. It'll work in their favor. Obviously quite scrappy on the chokes, but not enough damage being dealt from either side to really trigger anything. Just going to be peeking at each other and trying to get sort of opening, maybe by sheer luck. Although, being said, Whoopi Share has left Shutter really, really open. Uh, and actually, Blackbird have moved quite a few players. It's going to say maybe they were looking to push out of there, but fortunately not. That would have been something to see. This Ubers are uh, even, as I said. So, wait for that push, the eventual push from either side at some point, I'm sure. They are getting a flank push from the soldier who does get too aggressive and gets cleaned up by a scout. The scout did have the damage call, so he's getting a, just trying to peek it, but nothing's going to come out of it. I think Blackbird will try to peek this out, trying to look for picks, but Optifax takes a fight with two players, might get cleaned up. Doesn't, but it's awkward for the flank, as they are pretty low health. Oh, the Ubers pack. are popped. Here comes the Ubers. Pinkster getting absolutely annihilated by BB there. Delphonry goes down as well, as does Noble H. This is a much better Uber from the side of uh, Whoopi Share than it is by the Blackbird, as they lost. Every single player. Now it's a yeah. wipe. It is an absolute wipe. Whoopi Share gonna secure their fourth round on the second map of this grand final. But it's within 10 not minutes. Not looking good. That's 10 minutes and four rounds. This is not looking good for the side of Blackbird. Is, I dare say that this might be the last round. Uh, <laughs> I'll watch it this. didn't last as long as we thought it would. Not at all. I mean, the map, the first, with the pauses, the first map went about 50 minutes, so it's alright. Laz going up in this catwalk, just taking stuff up. Pain is going, uh, garage, but he's very low health, and he's been likely, yeah, he's just picked off. Really low health and awkward roll up, very slow. So just getting destroyed oh, in catwalk, so he gets straight in on the medic, but very lit medic on the side of Whoopi gets, uh, dropped down to 50, 40 health. But, uh, it's just gonna be Apples and Noble H backing this up. Probably gonna get the super, maybe hold second, but uh, if we'll be a smart, they'll probably just try and pressure them out a second before they can take it. Very, very, very bad mid uh, from Blackbird. Sixes, there's not much else you can say about that. It was just not good plays from anyone, and now they're trying to push into second. The Uber's out from both teams completely unnecessarily uh, from Blackbird there. Everywhere. They didn't need to push there. They lose the medic in the push, and Two down for sort of Whoopi, but they do get the caps. So this is going to put uh, Blackbird on the watch for back caps, and they're going to have to hold this last from the players pushing in. The last one, just the Roma, probably just going to go for either a back cap or a medic pick here. Walrus. He gets Walrus. Is... Oh. Dies. They'll get this cap. Nothing there to stop them. And it looks like Whoopi are just looking to hold mid, playing far back because they know this. They have this uber disadvantage, but. So finally we have some aggression 
from B uh, Blackbird. Maybe they're gonna push past mid this one. Have to wait and see. As we're seeing the fights just starting out there. Going straight onto the combo. Hasn't dealt any damage. Push down to Les. Very unfortunate from him. Medic was completely alone in the crate absolutely. and no one just and dropped down and got into grudge without him killing. That's ridiculous. That he should have died. I guess that was part of the plan to bait in, but it was really silly. And the fight goes in the <laughs> How did that fight go in the way of Wolfie? I, I don't have understand. Absolutely no idea. I have too many questions that can be answered right now. Uh, they didn't even get the medic. So it's like seventy percent on second. They're probably they almost definitely near this. They don't come up vaccinated or anything and they have no off classes. Do you need off classes in this position? Come on guys, get a heavy or something. I mean, we did, we did say this, that okay, they do have opens a lot more volatile, a lot more uh, formulaic, and that's really come into, come into showing that anything is possible. So many fights have been taken that have worked for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I'm gonna watch this slap again, I'm trying to get... He's the, I'd say, last hope, as they probably should be pushing here, they, unless they don't know they have the advantage. Oh, they do break in, they do over on the left side, I missed this. As the cap is just gonna go up with four plays up. And that's GG. That's... That's, is, that's GG, there we are, we have that's, it. That's uh, the Whoopi winners of Open. Whoopi Share win Open. Oz Fortress Season 18. Whoopi Share won it just like that. Two maps. Less Zero than 15 five minutes. on the second one. Man, Very unfortunate. Map. The side first of Blackbird. Yeah, first map. I wouldn't have expected after like that it would go that quickly. But like I said, they should have chosen a map that worked better in their the favor of their playstyle, as that was just it, none of the uh, their upsides were really anywhere on Granary. It was so unfortunate that they had that uh, two players drop for most of the first map and have internet issues throughout the entire thing. Had to see, but yeah, that is that is it. So we do have up on stream i believe so uh hit fire if you have access to the logs do you want to walk me through them all right well let's see everyone's favorite statistic on logs the total damage uh dealt during the map where you can see that laz had 3.9k compared to pangsta's 2k which cool. um, can definitely be attributed a lot to Pangsta just getting destroyed on basically every mid. So Laz obviously got a lot more free reign. Pangsta basically just yeah, always went to the pack and then just got spammed out or bombed. So yeah, Laz doing at least at least being able to do more damage than Pangsta. Um, other stuff is you know BB twelve three three point six K had some really successful bombs on mid as well. Um, basically, yeah, what, like, when you look at these logs, I mean, like, you can say that one player did better than the other, but it's just a lot of really dominant mids from, uh, from Whoopi that really, I guess, sealed this map. I mean, it can only really be that way when a map is, you know, like, only, like, 10 plus minutes. It means it's basically just a bunch of really good mids that get converted into a last push. And you can definitely see that, uh... Yeah, the um the boon of winning mids really helped out um Whoopi seeing as Delphinoid was the only one that uh is I guess did better than any than any um Whoopi player when it came to damage. So yeah. Yeah. So we do have players slowly making their way in for interviews. Uh first of all we have Neo from Team Blackbird. Uh yeah, what's been wrong there? Um, for one thing, having two players with a hundred ping when they're used to having ten or eleven, uh, that doesn't help. Oh, um, yeah. It was very unfortunate. I want to say that was really. You guys did well for being two players down essentially on a map pick that wasn't yours. You did really, really well. It was really sad to see. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we did pretty good damage considering Warfare Ping was. Um, just overall, we weren't with it tonight. Alright, and so we do have uh, a party here as well from yep. Team uh, Whippy Share. 
what went right for you guys? I mean, you did really well. Like, maybe the first map wasn't as dominant, but that second one, 5 0, absolutely destroyed them. What'd you do right? Well, um, I feel like using the map time to our advantage, just uh, when we were pushing on to the last fifth time, we, we just sat down and we, we waited for them to push out, and then we just destroyed them with you, right? Yeah, fair enough. Pretty busy stuff. Much more dominant showing than your first map, which is impressive to see. Yeah. I In wanna... your opinion... Oh, you go, you go, Sage. I was just going to ask uh, Neo, what was your team's uh, reasoning for picking Granary as your map pick? That's a good question, actually. Um... <laughs> <laughs> sort of... We've sort of done well on it in the past, um, but we've been pretty on and off actually on that map. Uh, we did we did scrim Whoopi Share on Granary once, I think, and we did all right against them. So we thought just pick it, hope for the best. That's about Fair it. Enough. Fair enough. Uh, we do have BB and Eels in here as well from the team of Whoopi Share. Really consistent performance over both maps. Uh, especially in that second one, uh, BB, you made some really good plays. 12 to 3 in terms of a KD there. Did you just decide you wanted to go absolutely nuts this game, or is this just the normal BB that we'll always see? <laughs> I don't know about that, but um, I think our team def definitely benefits from momentum. And I knew if we just sort of kept the, uh, the power on, we could sort of roll through it. Uh, Ills, I noticed that Apple did really well. I, me and your, uh, me and uh, Gramps both know him. How good of a player he is. Were you intimidated at all coming into this? Uh yeah. Versus him in scrim, so kind of roasted me then. So. How, what did you think in terms of your performance? Do you think you you held up your own? I think I did fine. Absolutely. Uh, hip fire, Gramps. Any any closing questions? Um, I think I've asked everything. I think, uh, I think your questions were quite, uh, quite good. I don't have any. All right, so that will bring this to an end. Uh, will you guys be coming back for season nineteen, Blackbird? You, you can answer that one first. You representative. Uh, yeah, we have all intentions of coming back next season. Hopefully, get the first place. That's Great to hear. Absolutely great to hear. Uh, on the side of Whoopi Share? I mean, like, uh, Whoopi Share, my pet. Uh, we might come back. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yet yet to be decided, I guess. Whether as the same lineup or um, in a different kind of instance. Yeah, okay. Alright, All right. so that will bring 18 to an end of the Open Division. Whoopi Share being your victorious team a great performance the entire season be sure to tune in tomorrow for the Els Fortress Intermediate Grand Final, be a great watch to be sure, if you enjoyed this content make sure to give us a follow on Twitch and keep up with everything that we get up to here at TF Live uh, just before we end it finally, shout outs uh, BB, do you have any shout outs to uh, uh, yeah, stay on stream just, just shout outs to the admins um, obviously Eels for organising scrims to the other teams for playing, obviously, and to my sweaty little son, Laz, as rude as he is, he can land a pipe or two. All right, Eels, what, what do you got to say? Uh, nothing. Other than Laz is a good demo man. Oh, okay. Nice. Uh, my shout-outs, I guess, will go to me if we're going down the list. Shout-outs to everyone that goes to Target University and the people that have been knocking on my door in my flat. <laughs> Your turn. Uh, thank you for letting me cast Australian TF2. So now I've basically casted all the major regions of TF2. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess. To come back. Shout outs to uh, shout outs to my team, my EU team, and my NA team. Uh, <laughs> shout outs to uh, to to Hobbs. I guess. Why not? <laughs> and uh, shout outs to uh, to Brute the God, and that's it. <laughs> oh wow All right. that's a rare shout out okay, your turn uh, who's that? Neo 
uh, shout outs to the admins for putting up with our players timing out and uh, pausing for us when we needed it. And uh, shout outs to Nathan to, in the chat for cheering me on. Right, uh, Gramps, give me one. Good one. Ah, uh, okay. Shout to Yorch. That's it. Yeah. Hey. Oh, boo. Oh, boo. dear. Pathetic. Uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> What do you got? Well, I got shout out to BB for being an amazing pocket. Shout out to Eels for uh, being the uh, team leader and managing to get us scrims and uh, just keeping us all together. Shout out to Laz because I have to, and he did well as demo. To uh, Walrus for at least uh, showing up to the games. Uh, he pretty much the best Roma that we could get at the time. No, I'm, I'm just messing with him. Uh, and shout out to <laughs> Zylife for uh, just just always taking the criticism and coming back again the next match and bringing it to the next level. Uh, to Chase Chaos, uh, and then to Chase Chaos again. Uh, to the people on uh, Clunge Grundle and uh, Has Disco. Uh, and finally, a shout out to the admins, specifically Yauch, who has had to put up with a complete pile of shit that he doesn't deserve. I guess I kind of have to let him respond to that. One, Yorch, what do you got? Thank you, Apollo. That's very kind. Shout out to everyone who played Open this season. You guys were pretty damn great for the most part. And I hope that, like, at the end of the day, regardless of whether you came dead last or dead first, I hope you had fun. That's what it's about at the end of the day. Shout out to TF Live, guys. Chuck us a follow. We're covering Intermediate Final tomorrow and the Premiership Grand Final next week sometime. All right, that will bring this live stream of the grand final season 18 wait wait wait, 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 wait. I, forgot someone, I forgot to shout someone out i need to shout out liam <laughs> all right i need to shout out liam because liam. he's probably oh, gonna yeah, be mad enough. so shout out to liam <laughs> all right Fine. so that brings this live stream to an end oz fortress season 18 open division grand final victors being whoopee share congratulations to them half of both myself and we are on production i wish you all a great night i'll fight your nan george